explore the keys to becoming a top-notch employer in the industry. Get ready to get set and unlock your full potential and elevate your skills to new heights. Let's dive in and set the stage for your journey towards success. Uh, but before I begin, I'd like to do some brief introductions. Um, first, my name is Emmanuel. I work with our Workforce Solutions team as a program specialist. Um, and I will hand it off to my colleague, Lonky. Hi, everyone. My name is Lonky Vang. I'm also on the Workforce Solutions team as a program specialist working with our school district partners across Ramsey County. I'll pass it on to Matt. Hi, everyone. I'm Matt Sari, and I work with the uh, Workforce team as a program specialist. I am providing some technical support for this, so my participation will likely be edited out of the version you are watching, but I am still here. And I'll pass it on to Brad. Hi, Brad here, a planner with, uh, with the Workforce Solutions youth team. Also going to be doing a little bit of technical support behind the scenes, but I'll hand it back to Emmanuel to start the content. All right. Thank you, everyone. So thanks for being here today. Uh, we really want to work on a oh, slight pause. So thanks for being here today. Um, today we have two goals that we'd like to accomplish today. Promoting and facilitating welcoming workplaces and second, ensuring employers are matched with qualified employees. This monthly training is designed for those working with or interested in working with youth and young adults in Ramsey County. Our successful employer training or get set aims to bridge generational and cultural gaps between Ramsey County employers and the region's young workforce. Get set provides learning opportunities for youth supervisors and employees to enhance youth recruitment and training skills. Also to invest in young employees and to promote a positive work environment. Program benefits include developing new communi communication skills building lasting relationships and encouraging advancement. Uh, a visual representation of the work, um, youth work methods pyramid of program quality is sort of that very colorful pyramid you see on your right. Um, within there, you can see uh, the, the base, our safe environment, moving up, you've got supportive environment, interactive environment and engaging environment. Each category, includes specific activities or approaches that can contribute to overall program quality, such as planning and reflection, youth voice, building community, cooperative learning, active participation, structure, and clear limits. And so just a little bit of background of us here at Workforce Solutions. If you take a look at that arrow, you'll see that we are housed within the economic growth and community investment sort of group. Um, there's a purpose to that. Um, looking at our mission, our mission is to strengthen the economic success of our community through personalized and effective workforce development. And I will hand it off to my colleague, Long Key, and give us some really great data points. Before we dive into our focus areas for today, we wanted to provide some background information of Ramsey County and the employment ecosystem. It's important for us to anchor ourselves in the understanding of the community that we live and we work in. This and additional information can be found on our Ramsey County Means Business website as well. So Ramsey County is not only the densely pop the most densely populated county in Minnesota, but also the most racially diverse. And this diversity is highlighted in our public school data, where 15% of the students identify as black and 16% identify as Asian. There are also 130 languages spoken in St. Paul Public Schools. All this data also ties into the fact that the county has a young population with almost 50% of the population under the age of 34. As we compare Ramsey County to the surrounding areas, it's a reminder on how diverse Minneapolis-St. Paul really is. All of this information and background 
really is to set up the importance of having inclusive and cultural responsive work environments for everyone, but especially for our young people in Ramsey County. As we continue to develop a stronger employment ecosystem, we need to continually be mindful about creating these welcoming spaces for young people. I'll hand off to my colleague Emmanuel to elaborate more. Thanks, Lonky. All right, if we take a look at our agenda. All right, so we've kind of gone through some welcomes and some introductions, uh, and it's now time to get into the content of today's training. So if you look at, uh, you can see sort of our three uh, areas of focus here. Um, once we get through that content, we'll run through some scenarios to sort of put those into practice. Um, once we finish that, we'll summarize it, close it, and hopefully everyone will feel a lot stronger about their supervision skills. So let's get to it. Um, today's training was created and influenced by members of World Youth Connect. After conducting multiple focus groups, conversations, and working with hundreds of youth, this presentation takes you through eye-opening areas of focus and uh, scenarios that greatly affect a young person's workforce development. World Youth Connect's mission is to elevate youth voice and engagement in the community. From recruitment to building meaningful relationships, our goal is to educate supervisors and to equip them with tools that they need to increase the success rate of today's youth in the workplace. Going to our first area of focus, cultural competency. All right, so when you hear cultural competency, what comes to mind? All right, well, I'll give you two definitions here. Cultural competency is the understanding and the appreciation of people from different cultures, age groups, or belief systems. Using a professional context, it, it involves integrating knowledge about individuals and groups into standards, policies, and practices to enhance service quality and outcomes. So by fostering an environment where diverse backgrounds are respected and understood, cultural competency leads to improved communication, improved relationships, improved trust and engagement, particularly among young individuals preparing for a global workplace. By identifying and addressing biases or barriers, cultural competency ensures equal access to opportunities and support for all youth, irrespective of their backgrounds. This benefits for organizations. The, the benefits for organizations include a better workplace culture, top talent, retention, cultural reduction, and more productive recruiting methods. Thinking of ways that we can put this into practice, you can include a getting to know you form, which is the form that you see on your screen. Engaging in diverse team building exercises, attending workshops, uh, fostering a culture of feedback, these sort of practices um, can lead to an increased cultural competency and a greater or better uh, workplace culture. So cultural competency is crucial for effectively understanding and communicating with employees, especially considering differences in workplace norms, practices, and cultural ideas on time management. Embracing cultural competency not only brings professional benefits, but also enhances personal growth and understanding in diverse environments. Moving to our second area of focus, setting clear expectations and goals. Now, how does setting clear goals affect young employees' motivation and performance? Setting clear expectations and goals is essential in any workplace environment. 
especially when supervising youth employees. This involves clearly defining what is expected and the desired outcomes. Communicating specific objectives, guidelines, and success criteria is important by ensuring everyone understands their roles and responsibilities. Supervisors can align efforts towards achieving common goals by using this practice. Regular feedback sessions and performance evaluations are key in supervising youth employees. These sessions help assess progress, provide constructive feedback, and identify areas for improvement. They also offer guidance for skill enhancement and career development. By supporting interns or young employees in reaching their full potential, supervisors contribute to their growth and success. The benefits of setting clear expectations and goals include increased productivity, enhanced employee skill sets, job satisfaction, conflict prevention, and positive internal and external perceptions. Thinking of ways that we can put this into practice. Activities like employee development plans, team building exercises, setting SMART goals, and highlighting promotional tracks can be incorporated to foster a culture of growth and value within the organization. In conclusion, setting clear expectations and goals while supervising youth employees is essential for the success and the success of the organization. By implementing these practices, supervisors can create a positive and inclusive work environment that supports the growth and development of young employees. Moving to our final focus area, providing individualized support. What is the difference between general support and individualized support? Individualized support is about providing personalized aid to address an individual's specific needs and circumstances, tailoring assistance to maximize their potential and well being. This is crucial for their mental health and overall success. This support not only attracts top talent, but also promotes adaptability innovation, creativity, and reduces absenteeism while enhancing the company's reputation internally and externally. Encouraging supervisors to facilitate continuous learning and development opportunities for young employees is vital. This includes granting access to relevant training programs, workshops, seminars, and resources to enhance a young employee's skill and knowledge in their field of interest. Providing resource support such as training, mental health services, and work-life balance initiatives not only reduces absenteeism, but also improves the company's reputation, positively impacting both internal and external perceptions. Some of the benefits of individualized support includes a more engaged workforce and potential for internal hiring. To implement this, activities like employee coaching plans, feedback and coaching workshops, supportive resource creation and empathy mapping can be incorporated to build relationships, foster shared values, and enhance employee value within the workplace. So thinking about ways that we can put this into practice, you'll see an employee coaching plan. This is one way that you can increase um, that individualized support within your workplace. In conclusion, by offering individualized support, supervisors can create a positive, inclusive work environment that nurtures the growth and development of young employees. Now we're going to take, we're going to apply some of the things we heard towards the discussion scenarios. These scenarios were designed to better understand the points made in today's presentation. These scenarios are designed to address the focus areas and our real experiences provided by young people. 
As a reminder, there's no such thing as a perfect answer. Our goal is to work to get to a better understanding of the different approaches in different scenarios. You will see two slides for each scenario. The first slide contains the scenario itself and the question, and the second slide will provide follow-up points, including responses from previous supervisors. The interview. A young person arrives for an interview. They are seven minutes late, nervous, and overdressed. During the interview, they state that this will be their first job, but that they are a fast learner. After answering some basic interview questions, the young person asks if there's anything else they should know about the position. Before you can respond, the young person's phone rings. They check their phone, state that it's an emergency, and ask to step out of the room. Minutes later, you receive a text from the young person saying that they had to leave. In the text, they said it was complicated, but didn't elaborate any further. How would you respond as a hiring supervisor? Please take a moment to reflect. On the next slide, we hear from what we heard from other supervisors. Some supervisors mentioned that they would reach back out and ask if this was a one-time incident or ongoing. Then they would determine if reasonable accommodations could be provided or if the young person wouldn't be a good fit. Another supervisor mentioned that they would work with a young person to reschedule the interview for a date and a time that would allow them to start and finish without interruption. Uh, the key focus areas here we identify are setting clear expectations and goals and providing individualized support. When we set clear expectations and goals, as with any other employee, there can be a want and need to define the why behind decision. Being able to clearly explain or connect to the why in a discussion will help set you and the young person up for future success. Using some of these techniques or activities will also help minimize interactions like this early on in a young person's career. A few takeaways that we want to provide is that oftentimes we don't know what the young person, we don't know a lot of young people or their circumstances just quite yet. Many young people don't know the expectations before they start their first job. And sometimes as a hiring supervisor, accommodations can't be made and that's okay as well too. Our next scenario, the no show. A young employee stops showing up to their scheduled work shift. They follow company work policy by calling in before the start of the shift, but this is their third time calling in. Later, they reach out to you and mention that they might need to change their availability before the next schedule comes out. You recall at the beginning of their employment that they shared how they care for siblings on occasion. How would you approach this situation? Please take a moment to reflect. What we heard from other supervisors in this scenario is supervisors asking employees, how can I help you so that you're able to keep working? Other supervisors mentioned how they would ask if the employee knew which days they would be absent. That way they could build their schedule off of that. The focus areas here we want to focus on are cultural competency and providing individualized supports. Whether it's through your own internal resources at your place of employment, or a partner like the county, there are resources that can be shared with young people in the community to help alleviate barriers as best as possible. Some of the takeaways that we want to provide for this scenario is that uh, needs for employees change over time. Uh, and being able to really listen to young people about their supports allows us to be able to pivot and provide the necessary resources for them. And supports are not always clear cut. There is never a wrong or a right. Sometimes ensuring to get to a space where no one is making 100% of the sacrifice is the goal. That concludes our scenario section. I'll turn it over back to Emmanuel to wrap out our learning for today. Thanks, Lonky. So in conclusion, by prior prioritizing the career advancement of young employees, organizations can create a positive work environment increase motivation and engagement, 
and ultimately enhance overall organizational performance. Thinking of why really any of this was important, all of these are optimizing career achievement for young people. Optimizing career achievement for young people includes intentionally enhancing their professional growth and success through effective supervision and mentorship. This includes acquiring the necessary knowledge, skills, and tools to guide young employees, understanding internship program uh, objectives, and utilizing best practices to support skill development and career progression. Investing in young people's uh, professional development yields numerous benefits for supervisors and organizations by supporting their growth, productivity, job satisfaction, and performance. Uh, this leads to improved or enhanced employee retention and morale. This investment in career growth creates a strong and successful workforce benefiting the organization. For supervisors, investing in young employees' professional development is a win-win and improves productivity, again, as employees become better equipped to handle challenges and responsibilities. Ultimately, this leads to a more skilled and capable workforce, positively, in fact, impacting the organization's bottom line and ensuring jobs are filled with young employees who can grow within the company. We hope you leave today feeling supported and maintaining a positive work environment for young people connected to the youth employment ecosystem in Ramsey County and inspired to continue asking questions and sharing best practices outside the space. As we wrap up today, we also wanted to share specific examples on what you can find on the Ramsey County Means Business site. These resources are these are resources you can provide young people you work with or interact with um, and resources for other employees as well. All of this information can be found on the website and in the one pager. First off, we have resources for the Suburban Ramsey Family Collaborative, the Youth Works website, as well as the Ramsey County Children's Mental Health Collaborative. These resources can help employees with basic needs or other individual supports. Our Driver's License Academy is another resource you can find on the website. We know that transportation can be a barrier for job seekers, whether it's needing a license for the job or to get to interviews. Through DLA, our goal is to remove the bar that barrier by offering free driver's license classes, behind the wheel, and if needed, loan a vehicle for the driver's test. Job Connect is an example of resources available, which is in a job board with submissions from employers across Ramsey County. Young people can look for jobs by using the youth friendly search function, as well as employers can submit their jobs specifically for young people or others across the county. And lastly, the county launched our inclusive employer toolkit as an action guide to help employers in our community and region improve diversity, equity and inclusion. Our purpose in creating this resource is to provide practical tools that will ultimately help move the needle on workforce disparities and provide equitable access to wealth and opportunity. Stay connected to our work by checking out the one pager provide, that provides an overview and summary of this training. Subscribe to our workforce board, youth works and job seekers newsletters and keep the conversations going outside of this training. The more young people and employers are supported, the better it is for the employment ecosystem in Ramsey County. Lastly, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Ramsey County staff via these emails. Thank you for watching the Ramsey County Get Set Training.